Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees. I recently gave a video of my front yard and people are requesting a video of my backyard of exactly what I have in this kind of style. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to put a, a link up here to the video of my front yard and also below the video. Uh, but so checking it out, I'll show you everything I have here in my backyard. And we start off here with uh, the first tree I have here. Uh, it's not my first tree, but it's the first tree in this tour. <laughs> This is my a lemon zest mango tree, uh, and it's no flowering uh, yet, but it's uh, looking nice. That's lemon zest mango tree. And here we have a pineapple pleasure mango tree. This, uh, this was, this is one of the most amazing mangoes, and I got a bunch of mangoes growing on this the first year. I'm excited. And here I have a sweet tart mango tree. So those are three mango trees. They're pretty close. Um, planning on keeping them high density, uh, keep them close and short and not too tall. Here I have a miracle fruit right here. And then I have a sugarloaf mango, sugarloaf mango right oh. here. Now I have a bunch of stuff in pots back here as well. And uh, here I have some uh, star apples, purple and green. I have a bunch of avocados that I ran out of space to put in the ground, but I have a bunch of avocados here and a bunch of my maize that I do have space and I am gonna put those in the ground. And just various things that I'm growing here. I have a job of the cobra in a pot here as well. Uh, so that's what I got growing on there. And again, more avocados and things I have yet to put in the ground. So moving over here now, I have job of the cobra. I have two red jabos in pots two red jabos and pots. And back over here, I have a red sugar apple. And over here, I have a cac mango. There's a cac mango. It's a great mango. And then I have, moving along here, this is a chinay jackfruit. Chinese, Chinese jackfruit. It's a, it's a, a cross between a chompadoc and a jackfruit. So I have some fruit on there for the first year. I'm excited about that. This here is a bopa, a, a boca chompadoc, uh, because somebody in Boca Raton had this. Uh, they, what they said was a chompadoc. I don't know if it's really a chompadoc. I had one fruit from here so far last year. It was delicious. So that's what I have here. Very easy to open. It's great, and it's not very well-known variety. This here is a step mango. So I have a step mango here. Here I have a Kent mango. I have a Kent mango. Here I have a Mame. Uh, uh, Lorito Mame. So that's nice. There's some fruit on the tree there. Here I have a Super Haas avocado. Super Haas. It's doing great this year. It looks like it's going to be wonderful. Here I have a tropical persimmon. Tropical persimmon. Here I have an orange sherbet mango. This is the only mango tree I think I have. This and a lemon zest that there was no no flowers. Oh, there's actually one fruit on there. Oh, well, three or four fruit. But that's a orange sherbet mango. Here I have a Ross sapote. Ross sapote. I got rid of most of my bananas, but this is one I, I moved over here and kept. This is a Monsanto banana. Apple, known as apple banana. It's really delicious. And here is a canistel egg fruit. This is the Aurora variety, canistel egg fruit. And if you've seen a tour of my yard in the past, you're going to start seeing some things that have been changed around. Because at one time, this whole row was passion fruit, and then it was bananas, but now uh, is the update. So here I have a black gold jackfruit. I have another one in the other corner, but that's black old jackfruit. 
Here I have a Simmons avocado. Simmons avocado there. These I just put here. I don't know what's going to happen with them. I don't really have space for them. They're not on any water. Uh, and all my trees in this yard are on irrigation. I don't turn it on for the for the mangoes, but uh, some of the trees I keep it on, some not. Uh, this here, these are just two seedlings of of sapodilla that I had some extra trees that I just put there for the fun of it. <laughs> this is a M4 mango. M4 mango. This is the lemon meringue. Lemon meringue mango. I actually have two of them right next to each other. There's one and there's the other one. Two lemon meringue mangoes. This is a really big Kerry mango. Nice looking big Kerry mango. I don't have a big property here with the house, maybe a quarter an acre, a quarter acre. So then I hear here a, a Gefner Atamoya. Gefner Atamoya. Now I have a banana there that I was gonna take down, but some bananas are on there, so I'm waiting to harvest those before I take that down. This here is a pumpkin mame, pumpkin mame. So we're on the other side now of my other lemon meringue mango. I have some dragon fruit. I have two, two pot, potted dragon fruits. This is a Duncan mango. Duncan mango. This here is another pumpkin mame. So that's two pumpkin mames. Coming back here, I have a Miami sour sap. I got this from Laura Farms. From uh, Julian, Laura down there at Laura Farms, Miami, Sour Sap. I have a wonderful garden here. Throwing some stuff. Over here, I have a Bangkok lemon jackfruit. The banana tree I cut down, it's grown back, but I'm keeping that cut. A Bangkok lemon jackfruit. Over here, I have a the pre avocado, the pre avocado. Here I have a white sapote. See, there's a bunch of fruit that's going to be on there this year. Every year we get a bunch of fruit in there. That's white sapote. Here, I cut this back. It keeps growing. That's a sugar apple. Actually, uh, yeah, that's sugar apple. So I don't know. I'm going to graph something onto that. Here I have a jujube. Jujube. Here I have a relina, a relinia tree. Here I have another Gefner Atamoya. And then you can see here my garden. This is over the drain field, my garden, because the septic tank's at the end there, so I can't plant here. So I built the gardens over the drain field, but I have them up in a bed, so they're not going directly into the soil, into the drain field. So the, so the roots aren't even going down there, but I still utilize the space. Over here, I have a Monroe avocado. Monroe, al Monroe avocado. I used to have a lemon tree here. But I wanted the avocado instead. Over here I have a red jabacaba in the ground. Red jabacaba in the ground. Now this is a winter Mexican avocado, but I cut it I cut it back and it's grown back and I'm gonna graft onto this. I think I'm gonna graft the Miguel avocado. 
should be ready for grafting soon, but that's, that's what's there. This here is a sour sap, Home Depot variety sour sap from the seedling, which is excellent, delicious, really uh, very productive sour sap. Well, guabanaba. Here I have a Catalina avocado. I got some avocados here. These are ones that I might keep in the yard. I don't know. They're the only ones that I'm keeping here in the back other than the apple bananas. And here I have another seedling of a sour sap. If this doesn't do good, I'm going to put one of them on maize in this spot. And then here I have another Boca, Champadoc. And then here I have a Black Gold Jackfruit. Yes, I have uh, two Black Gold Jackfruits. <laughs> and uh, they're my favorite variety so far from the ones I've tasted. And so that's this backyard. Now my neighbor lets me plant stuff in his backyard over there. And I keep care of the grounds there. I mow the lawn there. And over there I have a soursop seedling. And I also have a sunrise, uh, sunrise mango. I have a garden. And I might be putting one of the star apples in there. So you see my uh, front yard, now you see my backyard. And in another video, I'll show you another property with more trees. If you have questions or comments, post them below. And the problem is with all these trees, I got all these and I don't have room for them. So these are, are three mames. These are uh, two, uh, two paste mames and one uh, magania mame. So I got to get room for these, but I'm going to let them grow in pots until I do. And then I have these really cool avocados, the Nishikawa, and the Tyler, and the Kampong, and the Brogdon. Just no room for those. So until I get room for those, I'm going to leave them in the pots until they grow. And uh, so the next tour you see, you should see stuff, uh, some of this stuff in the ground. All right, everybody, put your comments and questions below. I'm going to make a bunch more videos about all these different things. I got a bunch of stuff that I'm grafting to see how they'll show up. And until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.